Just do as you're told and nothing will happen. That's all. Relax. Now, drive out. The back way, come on. Jerry. Frank, did you get a report on the attempt at burglary at Big Bill Harwood's place? Yeah, about two hours ago. How is Harwood? Bump in the head, but you think he was hit by a locomotive. <laughs> did you locate his housekeeper? Wandering down a dirt road in a car on the other side of Tucson. She was held prisoner in a truck while some joker wore a hat and coat to gain entrance to Harwood's ranch. Well, I know Harwood's the Silver King, but all of his silver's in his mines. Not all of it. He has more than a half million dollars worth of cash and negotiable securities in his wall safe. What's the matter? Doesn't he like banks? Let's just call him eccentric. I've got another word for it. Well, what can we do to help you? We found these fingerprints in Mrs. Gregory's abandoned car. We ran them through a record and identification, came up with Harry Stone, a safe cracker. I'm sure he's on your wanted list. Let's take a look. Uh, here we are. Uh, Harry Stone. Huh. What a man with a safe. Two convictions. Jumped a $5,000 bail in Cleveland 10 years ago. Makes the federal law, right, Jerry, across the state line. Anything else? No. Tom. Yeah. Better call Cleveland right away. Get all the information you can on Harry Stone. Meet me out at the Harwood Ranch. All right. This is not the man, nothing like him. Even allowing for the fact that this photo is 10 years old. Who has the combination on this safe? Only I do. I change it about once a month.
pardon me, Mr. Harwood, but you wanted to see these when I finished with them. It's all right, Johnny. Oh, uh, this is Johnny Fleck. Uh, this is the United States Marshal, Mr. Morgan. Marshal? Hello. Uh, Mr. Fleck, where were you at the time of the robbery? I'm in my office at the back of the house. You didn't see or hear anybody? No, you see, I, I came in after it was all over. Well, I may need you for further questioning. Of course. Thank you. Are you showing me a picture, Marshal? I wouldn't recognize either one of them if they stood in front of me. They had their faces covered with stockings. You often shop in that supermarket? I don't shop anyplace else. I'm there every Thursday morning when the doors open. That's when they start their weekend specials. Just because Mr. Harwood is a wealthy man doesn't mean I have to be extravagant in buying food. Well, do you always drive the same car and wear the same hat and coat? I just bought that hat and coat two weeks ago. Rather, Arthur bought them for me. Arthur? My husband. He's the caretaker here. It was our seventh wedding anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mrs. Gregory. Mr. Gregory? Uh, most folks call me Arthur. All right, Arthur. I've got a picture here. It's about 10 years old. This man look familiar to you? No. I don't see very many strangers. There's plenty to do around here. And my, uh, my wife and I, we keep pretty much to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Did you see anything or anybody at the time of the robbery? I've been doing this since 8 o'clock. I didn't know there was a robbery till the sheriff come by. Have you seen any strangers hanging around the area? Nobody gets past the gatekeeper. Well, I just talked to the gatekeeper. Is that gate up there the only entrance? Used to be another one down the end of that dirt road, but it's closed now. Nobody's used it in, oh, five years or more. Thank you, sir. Okay. like it hasn't been used in 50. <laughs> Tucson Control to Marshal Morgan. Tucson Control to Marshal Morgan. This is Morgan. Go ahead. Car 9 reports a truck answering the description furnished by Mrs. Gregory in the vicinity of Timberlake area. Two men in the truck. Where in the Timberlake area? Car 9 lost the truck in the area of Mill Road and Burton Way. I had set up roadblocks at the junction of Highway 7 and Highway 10. We're on our way. Nothing can go wrong, huh? Everything's been arranged. So how come Howard himself walks in on you? I don't know. I'll have to talk to my friend before we go in again. Before we what? Blinky, there's a half a million dollars in that safe. Half of it belongs to us. Okay. Okay, we'll go again. But this time, this time be sure that friend of yours, whoever he is, takes care of the surprises.
know is that Joey had a friend inside and there was a half million bucks in the safe. What about this friend inside? I don't know who the friend was. Joey wouldn't tell me. All I had to do was handle my end. And what was that? Putting Mrs. Gregory on ice while he took care of the safe. You know, I feel sorry for you, Blinky. I don't know why I should, but I do. With Joey dead. Afraid you're gonna have to take this rap all alone. Assault with a deadly weapon, kidnapping, and two prior convictions. I'm afraid they're gonna throw away the keys on you. Look, I don't know the inside fix. What about him? I don't know who he is. I never saw him before. Cleveland on the phone, Frank. Oh. Marshal Morgan. Yeah, Perry. Fine, how are you? What about that information on Harry Stone? Have you got it? What? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll keep in touch. Yeah, thanks, Perry. Well, do they know where he is? Dead. For nine and a half years. What? Killed in an automobile accident. You know, Marshal, I believe in lady luck. If I hadn't fallen off of my pack horse 25 years ago, I never would have stumbled onto that silver strike. Well, I was lucky again yesterday. You sure this is the man that attacked you? Why, I'm positive. But how did he know where the safe was hidden? Well, according to his partner, he was working with someone in the house. They did. Did what? Open the safe and cleaned it out. Don't touch anything. How long has it been since you've been in this room? About half an hour. Yeah, this is Marshal Morgan. The Harwood Ranch has just been burglarized. You better set up roadblocks at uh, Devonshire Road and at the corner of Hampshire Road, Highway 3 and Highway 7 and search all automobiles for large amounts of cash and negotiable bonds. Oh, and send the lab boys. Yeah. Okay. Now let's hope the lab boys can pick up something here. Yeah. Like a dead man's fingerprints? And you and Mrs. Gregory were the only ones in the house at the time of the robbery, huh? And you didn't see a thing? Oh, I wish I had. Whoever did it must know this house inside out. Thanks, Mr. Flake. Well, lab boys couldn't find anything on the safe. So whoever open, it must have had the combination. Hmm. What about the back roads? They're working on it now. Hello, Marshal. Mrs. Gregory. Would you like some more coffee? No, thank you. We were just going to send for you. Afraid I'll have to ask you a few more questions. All right. Where were you at the time of the robbery? Right here. Mr. Harwood's entertaining tonight, and I was preparing dinner. Where were you just now? Well, I was looking for my husband. Did you find him? No. And I'm worried. Why? Well, suppose he met the robber making his escape. Well, I doubt that. However, we'll check the grounds. Mm -hmm. 
Find anything? Mm-hmm. Fingerprints from the Gregory part of the house, and also the gatekeepers. But get this. Some of the fingerprints in the Gregory place belong to Mrs. Gregory. The others belong to Harry Stone. Harry Stone? Mm-hmm. Guess who? Harry Stone. Alias Arthur Gregory. You must be mistaken. I'm afraid not, Mrs. Stone. It's Gregory. Mrs. Arthur Gregory. Didn't you tell me you'd been married seven years? Seven wonderful years. Arthur's a fine man. He's never harmed his soul or spoken an unkind word. How long had you known him before you were married? About two months. What difference does that make? We've lived a good life. You're making a terrible mistake. I hope so. Thought you might want to see this. Lab boys were kind of puzzled. They weren't able to get any decent prints. But out here, no footprints and no tire tracks. Well, it looks like Stone wants us to believe he left this place. Yeah. Then he still must be here. Yeah. Morgan to Tucson Control. This is Tucson Control. You better send three more men out to the Harwood Ranch. Oh, and make sure they bring walkie-talkies with them. Roger. We'll cover this place like a blanket. This is Morgan. Listen carefully. Synchronize your watches. It is now 2.38. Exactly 2.40, we move in. Position one to Marshal Morgan. This is Morgan, go ahead. John Flagg just left the house. He's headed for the rear. All units stay where you are. Position three, pick him up. Fleck is passing the garage. He's headed toward an abandoned shack. Keep him in sight. Roger. you recognize me? I was the only one who could know. Especially after the marshal produced those fingerprints. Joey and Blinky wore gloves. That left only your wife and whoever else would be a regular rider in your car. You. Who opened the safe? I did. But only Mr. Harwood has the combination. Yeah, well, I was with Big Bill yesterday morning when he went to open the safe. It was quite easy to memorize the combination. What are you going to do? Well, the, uh, the police must have their criminal. It won't work. We'll see about that. All right, come on. Come on, move. Position three to 
Major Marshal Morgan. Flex coming out of the shack with Gregory. Okay, you can go. Position three to Marshal Morgan. Flex shot Gregory and he's headed your way. I'm out of commission. I've got a slug in my gun hand. Roger. What about Harry Stone? Do you hear me? What about Harry Stone? He was... He was... Strictly a patsy. Gregory's dead. Better tell Mrs. Gregory. Frank. You mean Mrs. Stone, don't you? No, I mean Mrs. Gregory. Harry Stone died when Arthur Gregory was born. Mm -hmm. 